Hello there. Welcome to this very first beginners and pregnancy friendly yoga practice on my yoga channel here on YouTube. I'm currently 15 weeks pregnant when filming this practice and therefore thought why not starting to bring my own experience onto the channel. I just want to make sure so you can be a beginner doing this video or you can be in the same situation being pregnant. If you are pregnant speak to your doctor, your midwife, make sure that you're happy to practice with me today. And as we are all so different anyways, it is so important that especially now you're listening to your own body, you only do what feels right for you and the little one in there. And yeah, just as long as you're in tune, I believe that we really have the power to keep practicing. I maybe wouldn't recommend it so much if you have never done yoga before, but I just wanted to say it's shared from my own experience. So please do what feels right for you. Thank you so much for being here. I look forward to seeing you in just a moment. So welcome back. Allow yourself to settle into hero's pose, which means that your knees are together and you're sinking your hips down onto your heels. And for today, let's place the left hand on the heart and the right palm just below the navel onto the lower belly. Allow your eyes to gently close and soften. Notice if you can lift the chin a little bit more away from your chest so your heart, your heart center is open. And as the eyes close down or soften, really allow yourself to drop into this present moment. And like I mentioned in the introduction today, I believe that if you really listen to your own body, you will do what feels good. And following that is so powerful because no one else can tell how you're feeling today. I'm guiding you through it, but please do listen to yourself. So just feel your hands gently resting on your body, making that connection with yourself going inward. And then let's start to deepen the breath together. As you inhale, feel your left hand rising. Then imagine you breathe lower down into your right palm, the belly. And as you exhale, soften the area of the belly and then relax the chest and your shoulders. So we breathe in two sections, two parts today. Inhale, feel your chest rising, body lifting. Then breathe lower down, feel your lungs. Breathe into your belly. Then relax the belly. Relax the chest and allow the air to flow back out through the nostrils. Very nice. Three more of these breaths. Inhale, nice deep breath. Feel the whole body expanding and rising. And then out breath to find softness. Couple more, inhale. Exhale completely. Again, inhale, chest is rising, belly rising. Breathe out, soften your heart, soften the belly. Beautiful work, very, very nice. And then keep breathing nice and deep and release both hands into one another. Palms are facing up towards the skies. Just a moment to notice how the breath feels without the connection of your hands. Beautiful work. And now let's start to move into our asana, our postural practice for today. So from here, find your way into child's pose. Balasana, bring your big toes together, separate your knees as wide apart as you like them to go, and then start to reach your hands forward. Crawl them as far to the top of your mat as you can, and then soften the forehead towards the earth. Make sure you have space for your belly to relax down. And if you would like to keep everything a little bit higher, you can make fists and form a pillow for your forehead. And make sure wherever you get to in your child's pose that your neck is nice and long. 
your hips are heavy and the head, the forehead relaxes. And then just start to find a little bit of a sway here. Rock your hips side to side. Roll your head softly over the mat or over your fists. Keep breathing nice and deep. Beautiful work and then come back to a moment of stillness. Feel the length through the spine. Imagine the crown of your head reaching forward. Hips are softening. Very nice. And then let's move into tabletop. So slowly bring your head off the mat, ground your palms down, and then lift your knees back to center. So they're about hip width apart. Feet are in line with your knees. Hands underneath your shoulders here. Spread your fingers nice and wide. And then for cat and cow, let's start by dropping the belly down just as far as it feels comfortable. Lift your chest and your heart, so you're arching your spine, hips are lifting. And then for the opposite movement for cat pose, tuck your tailbone under, ripple through the spine and round your upper back towards the ceiling. Four more rounds, inhale, feel your breath traveling down into the body, open your chest and your gaze. And as you exhale, just very, very lightly hug your belly in and lift the shoulder blades up. Three more to go. So you're arching the spine as you inhale. You're rounding the back as you exhale. It's not about how far you're going in the movement. It's more about how well you keep breathing. So don't worry about, again, how far or how well you know these postures just yet. Very, very nice last round here. Beautiful work. And then come back to a neutral spine. Keep your right hand where it is, under the shoulder, and then reach your left arm out, and maybe slightly up for a twist, a gentle twist here. Look at your right elbow and make sure the elbow is bent here. Keep your hips in the center, reach out of your left fingertips. You might wanna keep looking down just to keep the neck relaxed today. And then release your left hand down, the same for the opposite side. Reach your right arm out and up. Keep the hips rather to the left here. Keep the weight slightly forward. Inhale, reach into those right fingertips. And then exhale to release. Beautiful work. From here, step your left foot forward towards the left hand. And I really recommend if you do have blocks, you might start to use them now. Right hand is either under the shoulder on the earth or on a block. Untuck your back toes and in this low lunge, the same as you've just done, engage your left arm and reach it out and up. Try to soften your hips slightly forward. Take an in breath here, an out breath. And then for your low lunge, take both hands off the earth, off the earth and reach your thumbs back, open the heart. And just notice how much you wanna back bend here. You might again keep your spine rather neutral. Hips are softening forward. Imagine you're gently pushing the left knee to the top of your mat. Very nice. And then from here, bring both hands to the inside of your left foot. Flex the left toes. Again, you might use a block or you have your hands straight on the mat. And then for a Hanumanasana half splits, Start to engage through the hamstring so the left toes are flexed, hips are reaching back. And then take a few moments to breathe here. And every body looks so different and feels so different. So you might be forward here. You might not feel that your hamstrings have more space to lengthen. So just stay where you feel comfortable, where it feels like a good practice for you. Beautiful work and then roll forward again. Swing your left knee back and then let's step the right foot forward and through. Left hand might be on the block again or on the earth and then start to extend your right arm up for a nice open twist and low lunge. Have a look that your right knee sits over the ankle. You can look anywhere where it feels good for the neck here. Untuck your back toes if you can. 
and then for low lunge on Janyasana reach your hands forward and up draw your thumbs back have your pinky fingers facing each other so you can really feel the heart broadening chest opening here take another deep breath and then exhale soften your hands to the inside of your right foot start to bend the the knee hips move back and then for half splits hanumanasana here flex the right toes the more you stretch them the more your hamstring get a sensation take an in breath and out breath here very nice and then for our first downward facing dog swing the right knee back remove any blocks you might have had hands are even further forward curl your toes under and then lift the hips back and up keep your knees bent but lift your hips your sits bones towards the ceiling and then start to bend one knee after the other to the chest notice how your head is try to really lengthen out through the neck gazes towards the thighs Let's just hold it for one more breath. Arms are long, legs are nice and long, knees bent. One more in breath. And an out breath. Soften your knees down. And to seal off our practice, just gently walk your hands in towards you. So you're starting in the same way. You're ending the practice in the same way you started in your hero's pose. Allow your palms to face down on your knees as a gesture to seal off this practice. Close your eyes. And now let's take one breath cycle together. As you inhale, reach your arms out, around the body and up, breathe in, look toward your hands. And then exhale as a gesture of gratitude. Draw your palms down, bow your head to your heart. And I thank you so much for your trust and for being here. Have a wonderful day.